I'm going over kind of a frozen shoulder 101. So it's a, a long-term debilitating condition defined as something which is of uncertain etiology. So something that we're not still learning about in terms of the cause of it. Uh, it's characterized by restriction in both active and passive shoulder motion that often occurs in the uh, absence of a known intrinsic disorder. So essentially it can occur when there's no internal issue with the shoulder, that's known. Uh, first described over 150 years ago, that being said, it's been around for quite some time, but something that's often quite uh, misdiagnosed and missed and often goes under the radar. Uh, in terms of who it affects, it affects around 5% of the population, uh, but it's a high incidence and prevalence in uh, diabetic patients. So around 20% of diabetic people will uh, at some point uh, suffer with a frozen shoulder. We'll go into why that happens later. Uh, unfortunately, it does affect ladies uh, a bit more than males um, with a four to one ratio. And there's an increased finding that there's an increased dominant uh, incidence in the non-dominant shoulder. And it appears to, affect those in their fourth to fifth uh, decade of life as well.